Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the barn out here at St. Bernard Acres. The future home of my new YouTube studio. <laughs> or stage. Or bunker for when I do live streams. Uh, we got all the floor done today. Uh, I met Gary at Denny's this morning up in Cambridge. Uh, we had breakfast, came out here and got started. Um, I did not video us doing this for a couple of reasons. One, it's too hard to get stuff done and worrying about videos and worrying about positions of cameras, worrying about batteries, you know. Uh, it's just, we got to get it done, you know. This is not a how-to video. I will do some how-to videos, but this wasn't one. Um, and me and Gary are old. <laughs> We're slower than most. And we spend a lot of time going back and forth with each other on how to do, you know, how to fix things. Because I'm going to show you some video of how bad this barn floor really is. And what we had to go through to make this work. Um, for everything to be level, everything to be, you know, it's good. It's all level. That's the important thing. Now what I used, okay, the other reason uh, that I don't want to, you know, so much video stuff like this all the time. Um, you open yourself up to a thousand people telling you you did something wrong. Or if you had done this, or if you had done that. You know, I would have done this. Well, I don't feel like having to go through all of that. So I'll show you what we did. You know what it takes to put down floor joists and OSB over the top of the floor joist. I mean, that's what we did. It just was a whole lot more difficult because this is not like your average ordinary floor. This shit goes like this and it's all downhill and, you know, it's a mess. But this barn is probably 150 years old. So, what do you expect? Um... Anyway, the sections of flooring, I'll show you that to remind people who didn't know about them. I used three of those. What we, the sections we had built that we were going to use for our house, but since I'm getting the shed delivered and going to convert a shed over to a house, I don't need as many of those. But I don't want that stuff to go to waste. So that's what I used to build the base here. This is almost like a stage now. You step up onto it. Um, and it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, I used three of those. And we had to cut pieces. And, you know, this is 12 feet by... She's uh, 12... It's not quite 16 feet. It comes out 12 feet, it goes over about 15 feet. So it's about a 12 by 15 area. Would make a nice shed for somebody, make a nice cabin for somebody. You know, I could build four of these inside the barn and rent them out. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. But, you know, then I, you know, we did all that. Then I had to go down to the bottom of the basement, pull the trailer out, take everything off the OSB. I got stacked down there. We grabbed six sheets, loaded that in. This is the three-quarter inch. This is heavy shit. Put that in his truck, brought it up here, unload all that inside. Then, you know, trying to lay it all out. It's... uh Screwing all this shit down. It's hard work. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday, I cleaned everything. I moved everything out. Right? And on my live stream last night, somebody asked about uh, uh, 
gummies. I didn't take any gummies because I didn't really work hard. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to sleep with gummy. Because uh, this was hard. Messed up my hand. Thank you, Gary. You know, I went and got band-aids. I mean, I pinched it really bad. And I'll tell you, it could have used stitches. But I kept putting bandages, you know, band-aids on it, but we were sweating so much that it just kept coming in. I couldn't stop working. Uh, Gail's mad. I should have gone up to the hospital and got stitches because that's what you have Medicare for, Medicaid or whatever. I get Medicare, uh, my insurance. But I didn't want to stop. I wanted to get all this floor done. This way, next weekend, when Gary comes out, all we have to do is put up two walls, you know, and fix the ceiling, and that's it. This was the very hardest part was doing this. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be really, really, really nice, I hope. Uh, this wall over here is staying the same with all my tools on it. The old antique tools for the tool shack there. That wall is going to stay like it is. I'm going to build a back wall and I'm going to build a wall coming out 12 feet over on that side. I'm going to raise up the ceiling. It's going to be 8 feet high. The whole thing is. I'm going to put carpet down on this and this is where I'll do videos from uh, and do review videos. It will make the presentation about 10,000 times better looking, I hope. And I'll be out here where I can do more testing of stuff. Um, actually run stuff. So, that's the purpose behind doing this. Um, and it's cool. It's fun to do. I like doing projects like this. I'm kind of in limbo waiting on the buildings to be delivered. Not a whole lot more I can do, so I can work on the barn. Uh, the more I do to clean it up, the less I have to do once we move out here. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever end. But, oh my God, my legs are killing me. My hands are killing me. My knees, my back. I'm too old for this shit. I'm telling you right now. But we got it done, you know. It took us a few hours. You know, and that's another thing I would hear about. It took you guys too long to do that. You should be blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? It's done. I didn't have to spend any money today. That's the good thing about it. Now, when I do the walls next weekend, I got a whole bunch of extra 2 by 4s that I bought for building the house that I'm not going to be using now, so... I won't have to buy any material to put up the walls. I already have all this LP smart siding down in the bottom of the barn to do the whole house, which I'm not going to be doing now. So I've got extra sheets of that to do these walls with. So I'm taking advantage of what I got. Did I need to put 2 by 8s down here on the floor? No. But I had them. So why not use them? You know, I don't know what else I'm going to use them on. Uh... So yeah, I'll use what I got. It's kind of nice to step up on the stage to do uh, your videos. But let me show you kind of what we went through, give you a walkthrough. And uh, this will be the end of part two. Next weekend, like I said, we're going to have all the walls done and the ceiling put up. And uh, we'll go from that. But this is part two, the floor. <laughs> Maybe Alright, let me get situated here, grab my phone because I can do better videos with it, kind of walking around. Alright, so this phone, it'll give you a better idea, a better view of what's going on. If you see that floor below the 2 by 8s you can see how much had to be shimmed. And to try to level all of it, all the way back through the corners. I mean, everything. I still have to finish screwing all of it down, so I don't think that part's done. I'm going to finish that up tonight. Uh, but you can see where it drops. And that's what all the stuff I had back here that I was doing the reviews with. Uh, you know, I had to shim up all the cabinets and tables and all that shit. 
But now, I just step up on it, and I'm good to go. It will all be level and smooth, and walls. I'm gonna leave this part open, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that. I'm not gonna put a wall up here. I can barely, but I can still go in and out of the tool room without a problem. Yeah, it's close, but it's not too bad. But yeah, this is really, really cool. This, I'm so glad I decided to do this. And then I can finish running all the electric for everything through here. Yeah. That way I can plug in all my lights when I do videos. But yeah, that's it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. That's the sections of floor joists that I used three of. I need four of them when I do the addition on the shed that's coming. So I still have seven left. I had made 10 sections. So I got to use up three of them. But there's all my doors for the house, windows, more windows down there. Tell you, I had everything ready. I just can't afford to do the roof right now. That's why I'm buying something. Ah, uh, all my extra lumber. I've got so much shit crammed in here right now. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait till I move out here because all of this equipment is gonna be stored down in the bottom of the basement. I can't lock it up good down there. I got it all locked up here with uh, security cameras and burglar alarms and everything locked up, so I feel better about it. But yeah, that's the studio coming along, or like somebody suggested, calling it a bunker. I like that too. Anyway, this is Joe out at the barn out at St. Bernard Acres, part two of the studio build, stage build. Um, and this will be the next room over here. All of this is getting torn out and I'm going to frame all that in the same way. I'm not going to raise the floor if I don't have to, but this will be, I will have a kitchen out here. I'll have all the canning will be done in that room. I have sinks and you see, I got a big countertop with sink, all scrap material I've picked up. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. This is all the stuff that has to go back in the studio so I can do reviews. I mean, some of it I've done reviews on, but uh, I got a lot of shit to do. Oh my goodness. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining in the live stream last night. That was a lot of fun. And I'm gonna get the hell off of here. Watch for, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the license plate video first or after this. But a lot of people have not seen a uh, Barn Beam license plate project video. And I got a good uh, license plate from Mexico to hang in the barn here. So look for that video. But this is Joe out the barn. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, ding the bell, share. I mean, do all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you all later. I'm out.